In this part of the lecture, we'll see how to bundle these jQuery and JS files into our MVC application. So our purpose is to now see, we'll note down the names of these. This one is jQuery. We need not bundle it because it will already be bundled. jqplot.min.js, jqplot.barrenderer, highlighter, cursor and point labels. So there are how many of them? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. If you notice one thing, they are all ending with min, 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 min. It is their minified versions that have been included in this example. But when you will go to search these in the download that we have downloaded from that website, you will find two versions for both of them, for each of them. For example, for this one, one version will be jQuery dot jqplot dot js and the other will be jQuery dot jqplot dot min dot js. So one version will be minified and the other will be normal version. In the example he has used min 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 everywhere but he has provided both of them, normal also and minified also. So why is that done? For every JS and CSS file, you should always find both the versions. If you get a library from a standard distributor, he provides the minified also and normal also. Normal is used by debugging in debugging and min is used for production or release. When you are debugging your application you will use the normal one. When you are releasing it for production you will use the min one. So since we are doing it with the MVC We will have to follow the standard approach. What we'll, we'll have to make provision for both of them. Debugging and production. We'll have to provide for both of the scenarios. And therefore, when we are searching for these files, we'll copy not only the normal version, we'll also, not only the min version, we'll also copy the normal version also. So I take note of these names and I come back to my, this is what it has been provided to me. And if I have a normal look at this, then uh, I'll just show you some example here or better go to your, this folder at the top. Uh, jQuery UI, it's not the one. Here you can see, this is jQuery dot jqplot, this is the normal version and this is the min version of the same file. Similarly you have like x canvas normal version, minified version. So if you are searching all those five files and also the CSS file at the bottom of that list, you should copy all the pairs from these documentation. Some of them you will find in this dist itself and some of them probably inside plugins. So here you will find all of them. Renderer, min. Then you will have to search this. You will find all of them here. So we will copy all of them, the required ones into our MVC project. I will do that and then you can proceed further. So for my MVC part, I created a basic MVC app 
containing nothing inside controllers, nothing inside models. These are scripts as they come from the basic app template and here I have the content folder. I'll paste, I have copied them all into a JQ plot folder and I'll paste them here in one go. So these are, I'll expand upon it and here it is. So in this if you have a look at it, I put all the files, the normal version, the min version, the normal, the min, the normal, the min, JQ plot and you will find it's all versions whatever are there you will find them all here jq plot js this is the one min min so you have to always be careful about bringing both the versions into your project if you have a look at it what we have for the built-in ones the same pattern is there also this is the one that you will find already created for you when you create a basic application but still in this you will find both the versions this is js min js G ui min unobtrusive unobtrusive min so you will find min versions also there with everyone so this is the general pattern that we follow and now since we have all our jquery and css files in one folder we will now have to write the bundling code so where do we write the bundling code we come to our app start double click on bundle config this is we have already and let us now observe one more interesting thing even though we have included both the versions there min and normal but inside bundle config.cs you will only get reference to the normal version you never refer the min version here never refer min version here it is never done because if you do that will never be included by the mvc framework MVC will ignore it. So the question is like what is the use if you don't write it here? The answer is that when you include a normal version then by convention the min version name can be deduced by writing dot min at the end of the name. For example we write jqplot dot bar render at the end we can write dot min. You need not refer the min here, jQuery will ignore it, uh, sorry MVC uh, Visual Studio will ignore it. You will not write min here, write it but include the file here. When you are compiling this application for production, at that time internally Visual Studio will include min and then it will exclude the normal one then it will automatically include the min it will make internal modifications to this one and will include the min versions of each of them if they are available if they are not available then it will allow the normal version to proceed so we will first create the bundle then I'll show how in release and how in normal min is replaced. That I can show after I include the bundles and after I run the basic application then you will be able to see what I am trying to say here. So for the present what we will mean is that we will never write min inside this, this file but we will always include the min pair here. And now we are going to include the references for the jplot, jplot folder. Let us do that. I will find a place towards the end of this file and write there. So I start writing here. I will start it right to write here, jplot. And I can simultaneously open the solution explorer also.
So what I'm trying to bring is content by jplot. This is jplot. I've spelt it like that. And inside it you have this one. So coming back to this. So I'm adding a style bundle first. I'll add a style bundle for the CSS file. So if you remember, I'll write bundles.add. I'll fold it backwards. You can see that this is the path I'm referring. So I'm writing bundles.add new style bundle. This path is a virtual path. It should not exist. So I have just written content by plugins. I just appended plugins and jplot by CSS. This, main is, this name is very meaningful and yet this path doesn't exist. So I can always make out what I am trying to say when I uh, read that uh, layout file where I have included this name. So this virtual path should be readable as far as possible. You can see it at the top. They have given all readable names, content by CSS, content by theme, by base, by CSS. So they have given all readable names. So include. So there is only one CSS file. And I have included it. Content by jplot by jQuery by jqplot.css. And I haven't written the min word here. There is no phrase called min in the name. This is the path to the actual file. This is the virtual name. There is no word called bin here. Then I will add the bundle for my scripts. Similarly, I have given a virtual name content by plugins by jplot by js. And now I will include one by one. jqplot, bar renderer, highlighter, point labels, cursor. So having included them, uh, this finishes my work of adding style and script bundles. But be very careful about the sequence. You should type them in the same sequence because they are given in the same sequence in the documentation. Sometimes one file depends on the other and if you just uh, shuffle the sequence then uh, errors might creep in. Now let me show you the min story here. Before I can show, I will have to uh, include all that uh, layouts and all. So let me quickly add controllers here. Add. So this is the index method that has been added. And the corresponding layout file is already added for us by the Visual Studio. It is inside the shared and this is the layout file. Double click it. So inside the layout I find content modernizer bundles by jQuery. Let me add the references for the two jplot files also before I proceed. So I am including those here right now. First is your for CSS. It comes in the head tag. And then there is another for the jqplot. Now this is the jQuery bundle. I'll just move it to the top of it here so that conflicts don't occur and the sequence gets proper. You can see it now. These two, uh, these two are for your uh, CSS files. These two are for the jQuery and the jplot.js files. So I gave readable names. I can easily understand that this refers to the JavaScripts and this refers to the CSS. And then uh, I have included them and now let us run it and see what, what do we get in the output. I will run it. When I run it, I get this page as my index page and view source. And in the source, I can see that uh, I have this is the link to the CSS file. This is the jqplot CSS. This is the jQuery. And these are the JS files meant for your plots. But min is not appearing here also. No min is appearing. And uh, let us see now when will it appear. Come back to our project. And come to the solution explorer and go to the web.config file for your entire website. This is the web.config file. Pin it down, just wrapping it. 
so that things become clear. This is the web.config at the end that you will have to use. Because there is one web.config inside the views also. Don't confuse it with that one. It is this one that I am talking about. Here I will simply set there is one property called compilation. This says compilation debug is true and target framework is 4.5. Debug is true means that it is being run in the debug mode. If I set it to false, then compilation will be for the release mode or the production and this, this time if you see the source, you will find different things there. So got some error, build, rebuild. And if you get an error, you can always build, rebuild to see that it vanishes off. And now it will appear here. View source. This time I will maximize it off. This is what it is. He has written content by CSS question uh, mark. These are the style sheet. This has been now bundled and minified into one zip. This content by CSS is the, uh, remember this is the name that you give when you are creating bundles. So internally it produces a mapping, it uh, maps a root here and when this call goes then it sends the bundled and minified versions together into one zip. So this one is the bundle for jQuery. The jQuery files are whatever you put in the includes there all have been bundled into one zipped and your jplot5 files have been bundled into one zipped and this modernizer has been bundled into one zip so this is how bundling has been working that is the very purpose this is the name you gave to your bundles this is not a real path if it is a real path it won't work because this one will map to the actual path and there will be a clash. That is why we always said ki when you are creating that bundle, do not give a real path. Path should be virtual. This virtual mapping is done by MVC framework internally. It adds a root to that path. It adds a root. And this question mark is a query string which they use to identify what is to be sent. We can just test it. Copy this. Copy this path. And try to uh, paste it in the browser. I will paste it here and run it. You see that what I've got is a minified one blob. The entire files in that blob have been systematically minified and zipped into one, one thing that we can get. You can see these are minified because there are no white spaces here. And variable names have also been named accordingly. It has actually decreased the file size by minification. How did it minify? It made, made use of the min version. So I repeat this one. That in bundle config you will not write min versions here. We don't write the pin here. These mins are automatically picked by Visual Studio or by MVC when the file is to be served during the release version and during the release version what it does is it makes use of this path which is a virtual path and adds a query string at the end of it and internal code is written so that when this request comes it will send one compressed and one minified unit consisting of all these files. Your browser is automatically able to download, unzip and segregate the files for its use. So this is the trick here. 
do not include min and when you compile it for debug is equal to false visual studio will all, uh, debug it for uh, uh, compile it for debug is equal to false mvc will automatically link to the min versions so with this step our bundling is complete in our next step we'll proceed to the next stage